Well, by gum and by golly, it is the ensemble. This is the Saturday Night Ensemble Improv Extravaganza. It is brought to you by and theater company and these folks, the ensemble. Thank you very much for coming. Hey, I want to just point out some names. I want to point out Angelica, and I want to point out David, and I want to point out Emmanuel, and Benita, and Taylor, and Irene, who is your fabulous cast for the evening. Now, we're going to be streaming uh, uh, on and off over the course of the evening, so you just keep joining us whenever you see us. Also, we're doing this in... Um, in support of the Adam Hockerman Fund, which is how we pay for a lot of the, um, uh, the improv programs. Thank you, Adam Hockerman and the Hockerman family. And you'll see the links for uh, how you can make a donation in the description of the, of the thingamabob that we're doing right now below. All right, let's get to it. The very first thing we have for you this evening is a game called Goon River. Now, uh, can I please have, before we get started, uh, a big event in the life of a small town? Something big that would happen. Small town's pretty sleepy, and they suddenly, what happens? What happens? The circus is setting up. Yep, yep. At the parade grounds. Yep, the circus comes to Goon River. Now, here's the thing about Goon River. Nobody in Goon River can really agree on anything. By the way, take this opportunity now that you know it's the circus in Goon River to change your names. Give yourself a character name, guys. Now, the folks in Goon River are both for and again the circus coming. It's, it was a real controversy, and something big happened on the day, the very first day of the opening of the circus. Well, first thing, I want to thank all of the uh, of the inhabitants of Goon River. Thank you for coming and thank you for telling us your story. First, let's meet you, Lulu Bell. Tell us about yourself, what you do, and if you're for or against. Well, yes, uh, I am uh, Lulu Bell. And uh, as long as I can remember, I have been making my famous uh, Lulu Bell pies, minced meat pies. And I was just so excited when I found out that the circus was coming in town. So I've been making double pies, double crust, top and the bottom. Mm -hmm, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing it right now. Can you smell it? <laughs> Any distance. You're my new personal favorite. Oh, hang on. We got Victoria has finally made it in here. Uh, she knows the game, so it's going to be okay. Uh, thank you, Lulu. We much appreciate that. Welcome. Um, it is nice to meet you. And um, let's jump over to you, uh, Julie. Julie Peth Pethy, Pethy Ridge. Pethy, Pethy Ridge? Pethy Ridge, yes. Julie Pethy Ridge. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for your time. I have to say, I have been looking forward to the circus since I was very, very small. And it, it's a little embarrassing, a lingerie shop here. I shouldn't be embarrassed, but there are secrets that I know. And I've been looking forward to the circus. Oh, okay. True. Very much. That is wonderful. Um, let's go to you, Terry. Terry Winslow. Tell us about yourself and how you. Hey, what's up? Hi. Yeah, I'm Terry Winslow. I'm the town veterinarian. And uh, let me tell you, I'm against this circus. I mean, they bring their animals through, they don't think about how to treat them properly. And then I'm there every night. It's crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, down with the circus. Oh, okay, okay. I appreciate that. Now, now that I know that. Uh, hello, we have somebody who's also joined us—a member of Goon, uh, the town of Goon River. Um, I'm having a little problem with my computer. Your name currently says Victoria Murdoch, but I know you have a completely different name. As a inhabitant of Goon River, you um, you have a different name than that. And also, uh, you should just know that we're talking about that terrible event that happened uh, when the circus came to town that time. So when you're all set, that is excellent. Um, good. Let's go over to you, Thelma. Thelma, tell us about yourself and what you do in Goon River. 
Hi everyone, my name's Thelma. I like to, like to run, run my, my oh hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> There's a little bit of feedback. Um, I like to push around my ice cream cart. And so I am very much looking forward to this circus because it'll be a great opportunity to sell a lot of ice cream. Oh, wonderful. Okay. So yeah, circus ice cream. That's a, that's a no brainer. It's uh, a no -brainer. Nice to meet you. Elliot Spencer. Tell us what you did in Goon River. Hi, mister. My name is Elliot Spencer and I'm, I'm the town paper boy. I've been putting out papers for the last, um, this many years here in Goon River. And I've, I've only heard talk about the circus and I'm really, I'm really excited to, to see them and see the animals and see the show. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, kids, kids love the circus, don't they? Uh, Bart, is it Fallen or Fallon? Fallon. Fallon. Thank you. Uh, yes, yeah, Bart Fallon. Uh, I am with the, uh, the Goon River Parks Conservancy and, uh, and I have to say that I am unequivocally against the circus coming into town, uh, influx of people, uh, ruining the natural habitats, leaving their trash, their popcorn, their, their ticket stubs, their programs, their stuffed toys all over the place. It's just a real mess for the conservancy here uh, once the circus leaves. I, I hear that, I hear that. Uh, Victoria, I, 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 you're joining us uh, in Goon River um, and we're talking about that fateful day when the circus came to town. Uh, if you're comfortable talking about it, we would love to know um, what you did in Goon River and uh, whether you were for or against the circus. Yes, thank you. And thank you so much for your patience. I've had such a trouble uh, just joining you today. You see, my business got shut down during this entire operation. So I was just, I, I own a funeral parlor in Goon River and uh, well, it's, it's been a very busy time. Let's just say that much. <laughs> just, I don't even need to. Okay. Yeah. So I was at the funeral parlor and I was just in taking a, a whole lot of new clients. Uh, I'll tell you more about that very soon. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, let's, let's get down to some of you were for the circus and some of you were against it. Let's get down to the day before the circus came to town. <laughs> Um, and what you did uh, and who you saw. Let us start, let's start with, with Julie this time. Julie Pe Pe Pethy, 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 Pethy Rich, I know. Okay, I love the circus. I've been looking forward to this for a very long time. And, and so Lulu came into my shop and we were having a discussion about her pies and her, she loves to get dressed up uh, in, in, let's just say some interesting costumes uh, to entertain her friends. And, and so we were having a lovely discussion. I just thought it was delightful. And, and well, I have to tell you that that, Bart and Matt Terry were just so rude and so mean to all the people that came in. And, and so people weren't, you know, from the circus, they didn't want to come into town and buy either Lulu's pies or my lingerie. Well, let me check. Really not nice. Let me check in with Lulu first and then I'll talk to those other two. Lulu, tell us about the day before the circus opened. Well, just like Julie was saying, we were so excited about uh, the circus coming in town and I knew I had to make a million pies. So uh, me and Julie was trying to lingerie and we also took a couple of Xanax, you know, just for our nerves and everything. And so we held, headed all on, on over to uh, Thelma's uh, ice cream shop because what what's better than uh, just miss meat pie, double pies, but with uh, peanut butter ice cream. And you know that Bart, he's been like, sending people around to like snoop around to like uh, try to get us not to sell our lingerie and ice cream and pies. You know what? This is the second time I've heard Bart's name. I think I'm going to go and check in on him. Bart, tell me about the day before, please. Well, thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, it's a real shame to be so mis-maligned uh, by, by the other townsfolk represented here. But uh, what I was doing was I, was, I found a, a red-tailed hawk uh, on the grounds where the, the circus is setting up that had an injury to its wing. And I took it over to Terry 
Terry and I were talking just about how disruptive this circus is, not only to the land and the parks that we so treasure here in Goon River, but to the people, to the spirit. It is just, it denigrates and, and brings down the, 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 the intelligence of our community. People just go crazy. And, uh, and Terry and I were just talking about how people really, uh, they go downhill. Cool. Let me check in with Terry about this. Terry, can you corroborate this? I think I said that word right. Yeah, I'm going to tell you. Basically, like, that hawk didn't have much life left in it. And it made us really upset, you know? So when it finally passed away, I went over to Victoria's funeral shop with the red tail hawk. And I happened to run into my friends at their ice cream cart. And it just seemed like I was mad at them. But I was just really sad about this hawk dying, you know? I wasn't trying to berate my friends because I love them. I just, I just know that this circus is causing havoc. I understand. Now, uh, Victoria, I understand that you got an, an interesting client the day before the circus. I, I, I did indeed. Uh, well, the funeral, the funeral business has been booming, as I mentioned, and the circus coming to town was a real boon for us. So I am quite in favor. Uh, we, we had our very first, uh, aviating, uh, I believe you you call it a, a aviating visitation uh, for the hawk, of course. Uh, we, we've had all sorts of services for, for animals uh, before, but this was our first uh, bird visitation. We were very excited to, to host everyone in the town. Uh, it was a very, a very loved hawk. So it, it was very missed. All right. All right. I'm going to check in with Elliot now. Uh, Elliot, um, you seem very innocent in, in this town full of pies and lingeries and dead birds. Uh, what were you doing the day before? The what? Um, the, the day before uh, the circus came, I was doing my route like usual. I stopped by the brick and mortar ice cream shop to get an ice cream cone when I dropped off the paper. And I stopped by the pie shop to get a little pie sample when I dropped off the paper. And I stopped by the lingerie shop to exchange the paper for a lingerie catalog to take home. But, but stopping along, I, I heard about everybody's plans to go to the circus the next day, and I was hoping I could sneak in as one of their kids because my parents won't take me. Oh, you have terrible parents. That's yes. They're rotten. They're horrible. Uh, Thelma, it sounds like a lot of stuff was going on in the ice cream shop the day before the circus opened. Tell us about that, please. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was trying to make a new pistachio flavored, but my friend Lulu was adamant, just adamant that I make her some extra peanut butter flavor. And uh, we were talking about maybe doing like a two for one special with like her pies and my ice cream. And I was trying to get everything organized. The people kept walking in the door and I just I was a little bit over my head. Sure. I hear that. All right. Well, that was pleasant. Thank you for, for talking to me about that. But now we have to talk about the day the circus opened mm -hmm. and the thing that happened. I would like to start with you, Terry, because uh, you seem to be kind of a center of a lot of the action that was going on. What happened to you that day? Yeah. So I got to the circus mm -hmm. and, um, you know, I told I told Bart I was going to do this, but I, I couldn't see those animals locked up, you know? And so I went around and I opened every single cage, Good. every single one. And, you know, they didn't know what to do with themselves, you know? Three. They thought so, but I thought I was the enemy because they're so used to being in cages. And so elephants kind of stampeded and... Oh. I, I didn't make it. Oh, I'm I'm so I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, Lulu, tell us about the event from your point of view. Well, uh, everybody knows that uh, lions and tigers and bears love mince mince meat pies and everything like that. And uh, me and uh, Thelma was, you know, setting up our dessert carts and everything. And that's when we had seen the Terry was deceased. And I made a mistake and wore my Cody Wild Musk, which is also a 
pheromone for the bears that ride the tricycles. And as soon as uh, me and uh, Thelma started taking off, uh, this one bear, I think they called him Mr. Giggles, came and just clawed my eyes off and just uh, just ate me alive. And the next thing I know, uh, my whole stomach was in its mouth and I went up to the Lord. Oh, my God. Well, I'm glad you went there. Thelma, you must have been right there. What happened to you? Oh, my God. It was just, you wouldn't believe it. Would. I was a little bit overwhelmed by all the animals that were going by, that I just wanted to eat some of my ice cream because it really calms me down whenever I get stressed out. And I'm really embarrassed to admit it, but my own ice cream killed me. I don't know what I did when I was making it, but I must have added like a chemical or something and it was just the wrong thing. And I don't know. Maybe you got terminal brain freeze. That's a thing. I don't Bart, know. Oh, sorry. Bart, let's talk, let's talk about, let's talk about how, what happened to you that day. Well, the whole thing was a debacle as I, as I knew it would be as soon as the animals started going crazy and, and Terry was stampeded and, and Lulu was, was, gouged and gored by the bear and, and I, I saw Thelma and she was she was convulsing and, and and I'm first aid certified I went over and I started giving her chest compressions and uh, and as I was doing that uh, I, I must have I must have stepped on a, on a flower and a, and, a, and a bee came up and just stung me right in the cheek and all of a sudden animals are running around me I'm trying to save Thelma and my face just starts puffing up and I can't breathe and I pass out right next to Thelma. And I lay there alive for about five or six minutes watching the pandemonium Awful. until I, until my brain suffered. Oh, that's- Lack of oxygen and I died. That's graphic. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Julie, tell me, tell me what happened to you that day. Well, the ensuing chaos between the animals and the catastrophe with the pies and the ice cream and the and the beasting. I mean, I didn't like Bart, but no way to go. Well, I saw Bart and and yes, I've secretly had a crush on him for years. But I gave him and while I was hovering over him, he was pushing me away and and that's when the lion saw me. Oh and and I saw the lion and I couldn't move. I was so petrified with fear and it just charged and grabbed me in its mouth. It just ragged on me until I was just a broken neck and a broken body. And then it, it ate me. That's graphic. Okay. Ragdolled is, uh, is my least favorite verb now. Elliot, did you finally make it to the circus? And what happened when you got there? Well, yeah, I got, I got into the circus, but but I, I couldn't sneak in with Thelma or Lulu or Julie or nobody would, would take me in with them. So so I snuck in under the rafters and watched the show from under the bleachers. And I saw, but no, that's when I saw all the animals run loose oh. and everybody was running around and, and I thought they were gonna trample on me. But but no, I, 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 I'm, I'm strong and fast from riding the bike and delivering the papers. So I ran around the three rings in the three ring circus running away while all the animals were chasing everybody else. And I ran and I climbed up to the high wire line, but the monkeys, they climbed up after me. The monkeys climbed up after me and dragged me and, and dropped me down from the high wire and the net was already gone. Oh, I'm so sorry that happened. I really had high hopes you were going to get away. Um, uh, Victoria, now you, I, I would have thought that of all people, you would have survived this. What happened to you? Well, here's the thing. I, I have to say that I went to the circus that day. I did. But for business purposes, I brought a stack of business cards and I figured this would be my opportunity because everyone there would need a funeral service. And it turns out that I was right. So I was just handing them out left and right, just, just counting the dollars, just coming on in, just letting it fly. But on my way home, I was just so excited, all that money and all that business. And I decided to treat myself went by Thelma's ice cream shop and I heard about this new flavor that she had, that peanut butter flavor. Ooh, I was so excited about that peanut butter flavor. So I ordered myself that little scoop and I tried it. And on my way home, I realized 
that even on your 10th annual 29th birthday, you can realize that you're anaphylactically shocking to peanut butter and you haven't been your whole life. And all of a sudden that shock just hit me, hit me right where it hurt. And it turns out that I should have saved a business card for myself because I would have been my best client. Well, that is sad. Thank you, everyone. Everyone, did I get everybody? Everybody from Goon River, thank you so much. And thank you so much for watching our show. This is the Saturday Night Ensemble Improv Extravaganza. And we're going to be back with more improv for you in just a few minutes. You hang in there. Mm -hmm.